event technology expert and host, Joe Martin. Welcome. Welcome back. Uh, we have a great guest today. It is Kamal Patel, CTO and co-founder of Brand XR, one of my favorite companies in the ARL. I see he's buzzing in, so let's let's have him join us real quick. Hey, Hi. buddy. <laughs> hey, good to see you. How you doing? Good, good. I'm uh, I'm awake. I'm uh, I'm alive. I'm doing things. Um, just got my first vaccination shot. Feeling good. Um, you know, so so things are going good uh, over here at Brand XR. Um, nice, fantastic. Yeah. It's, it's good to hear. Uh, the world is starting to come back as we moved from the pandemic to the endemic. And yes. uh, talking about this weird virtual world we live in, you guys mm -hmm. have an amazing, amazing platform, which is very easy to use for experiential experts and trade shows. And since we've all gone to back into vir virtual and hybrid events, I want to focus on Brand XR. Maybe you can tell me a little bit about your story, uh, how you moved yeah. the company in like a minute. And then show us why this is like the easiest platform to use for uh, activations or at home virtual events where you could bring AR into the, I don't know, people's homes as they're at. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, the company came together a few years ago. Uh, my background has always been in game development, gaming tools, 3D, um, computer science. I was just kind of like the technical guy, but, and always like the least socially awkward engineer. So I'd always kind of be in leadership positions. <laughs> Uh, Moody, uh, my co-founder uh, and CEO, he's the, you know, maybe more of the sales marketing business kind of guy. Um, and we met in California because uh, I needed some VR headsets for a project. And he actually started a VR headset company. And then we met, we hit it off because like he grew up in Detroit and I grew up in Detroit. And it was like, oh, we could have been kids and we just would have passed each other. <laughs> but we didn't, didn't meet each other until we we're grownups and, and now in California. Uh, but we just realized like how hard it was to make virtual reality, augmented reality, to do any of that stuff. It just took a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of people. Um, production time was just taking too long. So we're like, there's got to be something better. Um, there's got to be a quicker way. And we just thought about like how Squarespace or Wix um, or even WordPress, like you can make a website in 10 minutes. Uh, and wouldn't it be great if you could do the same thing? Uh, for something 3D and experiential, uh, you know, so what took us like nine, 10 months to do, we want to be able to do in nine or 10 minutes. Um, and so and that this was, was the goal. world's no code platform, right? I mean, yeah, basically yeah. you can build AR with, without having to have, having to be a coder or do anything. It's just templates and yep. render something, you know, uh, and, uh, and put it live, you know, with the trigger on your mobile device, you can yeah. do like experiential hunts and, Wait, so it's yeah. brandxr.io, right? Here's the website. Brandxr.io is the website, yeah. Uh, and you can check it out and, and sign up to be on, on the wait list. Uh, and we're letting people in in waves. Um, yeah. and, and the thing is that, you know, what we notice is everybody has a smartphone, right? Like everybody on, like, it, you know, so they might <laughs> even have two. Yeah. Uh, maybe VR headsets, not everybody has it at the moment. Um, or not everybody has AR glasses yet. Uh, you know, that's always rumored to be coming, but today everybody's got a cell phone. Everybody could hold their phone up and look through it. And, and our software without having to program anything kind of makes it like, that's your magic window into a world of holograms and 3d and, and anything else. Uh, you know, show you some of these videos right now show how easy it is for somebody to create AR as you, uh, as you talk a yeah. little bit about it. So, but you start with the template, there's no code needed. And I'm an event producer and I want people to do a scavenger hunt or something at home. And I can add this as a very inexpensive feature to, you mm -hmm. know, my great show. So what, what else can they do? Tell me, show me, I mean, as we watch these things, what, tell me yeah. a little bit about what they can do. So, you know, the, the biggest thing here is the, it's supposed to be the simplicity side of things. You know, when you have so many things going on, so many buttons, so many dials, so many sliders, it gets really confusing. Um, and if you had to write a line in a single code, a line of sing, you know, a, a single line of code, it would be very cumbersome. So we're kind of proud of as much as we don't do as as much as we do. <laughs> like, uh, you know, so the key things are that you know you can get a 3D model up and optimized on our platform. So if it was like a thousand megabyte file that was 3D and really complex, we will shrink that down as in a lossless way as much as possible 
so that maybe it's not a thousand megabytes, maybe it's only 15 megabytes. And, and that's some magic that happens on the server side where we compress you know, certain things, we simplify the 3D model to where it looks pretty close and then stream that down onto somebody's phone or tablet. So it happens relatively quick. And then that person can see it, you know, in their space, whether it's, you know, a 3D file, like a, a 3D model that they just put down on their coffee table or a video that they have up on the wall. Um, or it's a it's a model that has like some hot spots on it. So when you're kind of walking around, it's like a little showroom to yourself or it tells you what's so special about this little uh, feature or this this part of it. If it's a car, maybe you walk over to the headlights and it tells you more about it, um, you know people can't go to trade shows anymore at the moment. And uh, this can yeah, kind yeah. of like bring that's, it to you. I mean, that's the hardest thing. I, I attend so many networking events and so yeah. many uh, virtual events that you have to keep them entertained. I mean, I've had boxes of wine sent to my house, FedEx showed up with a meal. I mean, like there's been all sorts of cool gimmicks and cameos and uh, literally celebrities and, and things that, you know, some of it's fun, but you get tired of sitting for six hours. So I love the idea of walking around. Actually, there's a really cool video we're going to show right now, which is walking around Ultra Credit Union with a virtual tour. Hi, I'm Steve Kanan, President and CEO of Ultra. We're happy you've joined the Ultra team, and I look forward to working with you. Although you cannot be here in person for us to welcome you to the Operations Center, we thought we'd give you a glimpse behind the scenes and to help you better understand what actually happens here. Select the images to learn how Ultra has grown since our start in 1931 as Train Employees Credit Union. Welcome to the Project Management and Business Innovation Department. My name is Dawn Fried and I'm the Vice President of this area. Welcome to the wonderful world of marketing. Hi, I'm Cheryl Dutton, Vice President of Marketing at Ultra. Have a lot of emphasis on youth events, youth re Welcome to the Accounting Department. My name is Mary Isaacs and I'm your Chief Financial Officer. Hi, I'm Josh Hammett, Chief Information Officer here at Ultra Federal Credit Union. I oversee the Information Technology Department here. I like to think of uh, Ultra as a technology company that provides financial services and products to our members. I think that's yeah. fantastic. And I that love the whole, cool project, yeah. yeah, and the whole team building, you know, experiential at home where you can get points and do exercises and run around the house. And it seems like that's really easy for a producer to just, you know, create it themselves. And I love this whole thing, no yeah. code needed. Yeah. If you can make a beautiful PowerPoint, you could you could work with us. Nice. Yeah. So any any uh, success stories you want to talk about real quick? Uh, you know, there's a couple different ones, uh, and for different reasons. So, uh, one that I always love is, um, uh, city unseen, which is from okay. snap gallery in Orlando. They did, uh, not necessarily a scavenger hunt, but they did, they almost made the entire city of Orlando, uh, a museum, uh, an art gallery. Cool. So, so you have to go to different areas of Orlando, different suburbs, different districts. And when you go there, uh, you can launch an AR experience that's only in that certain area. So a certain wall that's blank, you don't know there's anything special about it, but when you launch that app and you, you, you put it up, you see a mural. And then those mural, like this particular mural had portraits of dreamers, like kids, you know, um, the DACA kids. And then yeah, when yeah. you go up to one of their portraits, they tell you their life story of like what their that's parents cool. did, you know, what are they doing today? You know, where do they study? Like, what they want to be, what they dream to be. So, you know, there's that. And you go to another location uh, near an art supply store 
uh, and then there's like a, a empty grassy field and you all, you launch the experience and all of a sudden there's a doorway that appears uh, like a doorway portal. And then you walk through the doorway and now you're in uh, an artist studio and you Very can walk cool. up to the artist studio and you can see notes that they wrote on the wall. You can go to their desk. You can see what they've written. Uh, it feels like you're somewhere else. And when you turn back around and you see the doorway, you see out into the real world and you can go right back out. So it, it's, it's interesting like that. I, that to me, like is one of my personal favorites. Um, well, I can, I can think of yeah. a ton of hybrid event applications of using the, the brand XR experience for it. So that's, that's actually yeah. fantastic. So we're almost at time and yeah. uh, we put the website, we showed a couple of videos. It's and just the gist of it is if you're an event producer, you're experiential, you've never done AR, you're scared, you don't want to hire a very expensive agency. Um, this is the way to go. It's no code, yeah. simple templates, you know, you, you can, and you guys have designers that can help people, you know, I, I can see Microsoft did some stuff with you, Kennedy Space Center, you have some great clients. Yeah. So, I mean, you guys can help, help these guys develop their own AR experience. Yeah, we have a pro services team. So like, you know, you could subscribe and do it all yourself, but we have a pro services team that, you know, we can help fill the gaps, right? So you needed a 3D model, you needed some art direction, uh, you needed some additional hands. Like we we have an army of game developers, 3D artists, 2D artists, musicians, anything to kind of help plug in on the content side uh, to just kind of even hold your hand. So, uh, you know, main thing is like, I think just getting the world to like, feel like they're having an experience again. Um, we just oh, want to make that super simple. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of feel like even though people are getting vaccinated, which congratulations, and you know, some people are leaving their houses uh, because of everything that's happened, there's still going to be a lot of hesitation and, you know, companies might not be willing to spend as much in trade shows or events like they were, you know, uh, before the pandemic. So I think, I think this combination of AR for the real world and virtual events and hybrids is fantastic. I love that you don't need code. Uh, you just <laughs> drag and drop, yeah. right? I mean, this is fantastic. Any last thoughts? Cause we're at time. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, we'd love to see a lot more uh, of, of this audience, uh, you know, join uh, brand XR, you know, go ahead to brandxr.io. Uh, at the very upper right hand side, you'll see like sign up for the wait list. Uh, just click that register uh, and we'd love to get you into the into the platform so you can start testing it and trying it out and and then you know hopefully we can help you on some of the events that you're going to build out and it won't be a long super long initiative it can happen really really quick so uh yeah. randixr.io yeah well, no thanks for joining us on i love ventech and uh i hope to talk to you soon have a great night yeah bye bye